Just want to make one quick cool little video here. I have my uh, just my cheap multimeter. You can get these for like three bucks on, you know, on eBay. I have that hooked up as basically watching battery current, and I can stand on the brake pedal, hold the throttle full throttle, and uh, nothing happens. It doesn't blow up. This is awesome. Watch this. So let's look at the current. That's full throttle right there. Just five amps going into the motor controller, turning in the heat. Try that one more time. This is pretty cool. You can actually hear it. It's making some noise. Oh, set it over current just because I loaded it back down. Probably got to change a couple things, but. Good. <clears throat> do it one more time just to show oh. shouldn't stand on the controller that's really a bad idea foot on brake which is full throttle hold it full throttle see that 5 amps going in there 5.6 amps nothing happening Get off. Like I held it for at least 10 seconds that time and you can feel a little bit of heat in the motor from it let's just go around here yeah put some heat in the MOSFETs too they were at 15 degrees before I started that I have no fan or anything on my heat sink I don't have any paste on the heat sink between the two pieces of the metal there the bottom heat sinks only 9 degrees it's cool in the shop and 24 on the MOSFETs and even this part there it's like 20 degrees, so all I need to do is put a little bit of heat paste between the two pieces of heat sink there, and that'll help cool that. And then I plan on to put some fans down in here. It's going to work really good, I think. All I'm looking for is, I don't know, I think I should be able to pull 20 horsepower with this, but in reality, 5 to 10 horsepower would be really cool with this little bike for now, and then I'll build a bigger controller in the future. Very cool.